The chronic care management program was initiated by Centers for Medicare and Medicaid uh, probably about two or three years ago. And it's an excellent program that allows us to assign a nurse uh, to people who have two or more chronic medical problems uh, so she can track uh, them in greater detail uh, throughout the course of the time. So instead of me just checking in with them every three or four months, uh, she'll actually check with them on a weekly or a monthly basis as needed. We now have over 250 patients in the practice enrolled, and so uh, without the help of good software, it would be very difficult to do that on our own. <coughs> Mr. Grove, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Sure. I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. Good. Bob is one of the guys whom we had been following for some time with diabetes and uh, high blood pressure, and he actually had been doing fairly well. Uh, he was also managed by myself and the Veterans uh, Administration. I am a retired Army Colonel Robert Eden Grove. In that career, I spent uh, three tours in Germany uh, with my family uh, for a total of nine years and two one-year tours in Vietnam. Although I had triple bypass surgery in December of 2015, uh, I was totally surprised by that because my father lived to be 90 and my mother 93 and neither of them had heart problems. When the program came into appearance, we offered it to him and he said, well, you know, I'm not really sure I'm going to see much benefit out of it, uh, but I'll sign up and uh, in two or three months, if I'm not interested in continuing on it, then uh, we'll probably stop it. So we did sign up and uh, we had our nurse Catherine check on him pretty regularly. The first few months he was doing okay and the second month when she called uh, to check on him, his blood sugars were doing fine, his blood pressure was doing okay. And at the end of her 20 minute conversation with them, she said, is there anything else that's going on? And he said, oh, you know, by the way, I'm having a little bit of chest pain. The information that I gave to her and she looked through the ECW records of, of my health and said, whoops, something's wrong. I went immediately to Dr. Hasseltine and then the process started. Well, she immediately brought him in. Uh, we got an EKG, which was not normal for him. Uh, we set him up for a stress test, which was also not normal. And then we sent him for a cardiac catheterization, which said several vessels occluded. So within the end of the month, uh, he was down at Medical University of South Carolina having a three vessel uh, bypass. And uh, this probably ended up saving his life. Uh, had he continued to ignore his symptoms of chest pain, he probably would have either died of a heart attack or have been left uh, a cardiac cripple uh, with congestive heart failure for the rest of his life, being in and out of uh, hospitals uh, pretty regularly to manage congestive heart failure, which can be a pretty miserable existence. I think the uh, e-clinical e works for their software, which help identify this problem in Dr. Hasseltine and Catherine Bird's quick action and, and absolute professional care in getting this controlled. For him, he's actually uh, alive, doing well, has taken several trips in the past year, really quite functional and very happy and healthy. And Bob is not the only person whom we've had who've seen these benefits. We've had other people who have ha had their blood sugars, they were uncontrolled, have now finally gotten them under good control. I didn't know I had heart problems. And the ECW program is what brought this to light and got all this corrected. The ECW CCM program really saved my life. <laughs>